Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty um, uh, <laughs> Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. I really tried to speed through that one, and I absolutely destroyed it. In any case, we're getting on with the main quest for this portion of the video, so let's have a little quick recap. We have spoken to Parthenex, and we have spoken to Urag in the Arcanium, and he's pointed us in the direction of Septimus Cygnus. So... The main quest, learn the location of the Elder Scroll or optional talk to Arngear. We did talk to Arngear, but he pointed us in the direction of the College of Winterhold, which was Urag. So I met the Master of the Greybeards, a dragon, a dragon Parthenax. He told me that the ancient Nords used an Elder Scroll to cast Alduin forward in time. If I can recover that same Elder Scroll, I may be able to use it to learn the Dragon Rend Shout directly from the ancient heroes. I've learned that a scholar named Septimus Cygnus might know where to find it, and that le that leads into discerning the transmundane. I've learned that Septimus Cygnus, a preeminent scholar of the Elder Scrolls, is currently living in the far north studying a dwarven artifact. He might know where I can find an Elder Scroll for Parthenax find Septimus Cygnus. So that's what we're going to do in this episode, and we're going to waste no time going about it. I'm just going to quickly check my... Uh, Okay, okay. No, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Just wanted to. Ooh, I can't spare the time. Just wanted to quickly check my uh, my stats, and they are indeed at a hundred. I've done I've done a good job. I believe I did indeed uh, make sure I was at a hundred towards the end of the last episode by sleeping and eating at the inn. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go find Septimus Cygnus, and I just wanted to quickly mention as well, just to you know, kind of give you guys confidence that there will always be an upload. Like regardless, I've tr I've tried my best to um to make it that way with how I've kind of Okay, didn't hurt myself, didn't break my ankles. I've tried to make it that way with how I've um, kind of started off uh, my channel. Where, whereby, like, I'm always really far ahead of schedule. And, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. It's got pros and cons. The pro, obviously, being I'm always going to have something to upload. Or at least I should, provided everything goes to plan. Or at least I've got, like, a huge safety net. Because I've always got, you know, I'm, a, I'm ahead of schedule, obviously. Oh, man, this is going to be, this is going to be hard getting over there. Ooh. Let's get out uh, our little Daedric horse, which we still need a name for. Okay, I've got him in my right hand. So, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to mention just to, like, give you guys confidence about the whole uploading thing and that I, I want to let you guys know that there's always going to be something for you guys to watch. And I hope that's not a dragon I hear fluttering about. I guess it's not. And that's because, like, to say for this episode, I believe this is episode either 42 or 43 off the top of my head. And I am currently recording this uh, the 7th of January, 2022. However, I don't think this episode will probably be out in terms of all my other episodes as well until maybe a week and a half from now. And that's just to give you guys, like, a, a to try and, like, give you guys a, 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 some kind of framework as to how I work, like some kind of picture as to how I work and how I try, I am going to be genuinely trying to be ahead of schedule the majority of the time so that no matter what happens in my life, like I have a week and a half at least buffer zone where um, there are still uploads coming out, like something terrible could happen, I could, anything could happen, there could be a thunderstorm, we could go through some kind of huge, I don't even know, some... So anything could happen is what I'm trying to say. Absolutely anything could happen and I would still be able to provide content for you guys for at least a week and a half to two weeks, I would say. Probably more because I'm, I'm just, I'm continuing to do these videos and I'm pumping them out and I'm getting further and further ahead of schedule as I keep going along. And also that translates to potentially if I, if I do keep doing what I'm doing, I may also uh, feel comfortable enough or uh, prepared enough in terms of anything on um, the whole situation where anything could happen where i could start doing two uploads a day because that was a plan i had for a bit i wanted to do two uploads a day but i just also never want a day to go past where i don't upload something because i really don't want to disappoint you guys i want to like give you guys something to look forward to each day if you know what i mean you know something to watch and you know that that's just how i kind of try to oh you're not our friend i can't still be five so that's just kind of how i want to uh 
really how I want this channel to be. Just something that will, no matter what, it's always got content coming out every Ye single day. In, the in any case, I'll know your lost let's unknown, talk to this to fruitcake. <laughs> Septimus Cygnus, how are you, when my friend? the top level was built, uh, no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. What brings you to this remote place? Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. You have an Elder Scroll here? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Are you all right? Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. So where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? Or... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this one. Thorin Vrolt isn't quite this aggressive. Also, apologies, I just realized my mic was a little bit down, so I've just turned it back up to its regular volume. Hopefully it's not too much, uh, too jarring in the video. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer. Deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremor City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mazark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits. And Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Black lexicon added, attunement sphere added. So, what do I do with this sphere? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearing? What do I do with this cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. I would never guess. The Dwemer found a loophole as they always do. 
to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back and Septimus can read once more. What is an Elder Scroll? I'm actually interested to, to kind of hear what his explanation is, because reading that book was just impossible. You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. And the future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. What do you want with the Elder Scroll? Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. Very, very interesting, Septimus. So, this is what he's talking about, quite obviously a huge Dwemer lockbox, basically. And again, another awesome, awesome animation once we figure out how to open it. Because all lockboxes can be opened, right? Yes, indeed. Let's go back into Skyrim, and we're going to continue on with this main quest. Let's get back out our horsey. Yes, yes, yes. And where are we headed off to? Okay, so fairly close by, it seems. Good, good, good. I was worried it was going to be, like, here. Because <laughs> I genuinely could not remember where it was. I was worried it was going to be so far away, but that's okay. That's, that's close enough for us. So we're going to be headed into the into Aftland, and we're going to be working our way through that Dwemer Ruin. And now, the Dwemer Ruins in this game, as I believe I've mentioned it before in a previous episode... Whoa, I need you to get above the ice there, please. The Dwemer Ruins in this game, as I have mentioned before, are very long compared to the other dungeons and caves that Skyrim tends to offer. So they can definitely take a while. They're quite... They're quite an investment of time. Not a bad thing, but not always a good thing either. You know, some sometimes it gets a little bit, you know, because you, you can usually tell like how long one's going to be once you go through a certain segment of it, you know, by the whole quest marker thing. And there has been a few times, I must admit, when I've been like working my way through a Dwemer Ruin and I'm like, okay, surely this is the last segment. You know, when you like, you go through a loading door and you're like, okay, surely this is the last segment. And then you go through it and you see that there's like, obviously the change in the, uh, or you know how the quest marker has, it changes depending on whether or not uh, the, the thing that you're seeking is in that room or in a different room, like behind another loading screen. And like the worst thing is when you're coming up on like one or two hours in a single Dwemer dungeon and you go through a door and you're like, okay, surely. Surely this is the last part of this dungeon and <laughs> and you still see that quest marker showing you that you still you have yet another room to completely clear and then go into the next loading part and it's just I remember it's not so bad it's not so bad right now on the PC obviously because of quicker loading times and obviously I'm a lot more familiar with the game so I can work through things a fair bit quicker but I remember back in Xbox 360 days I love talking about the Xbox 360 days but back in Xbox 360 days it was always like ah. Oh, here we go, a three minute loading screen, <laughs> which by the way, we would not, I don't think anyone would accept a three minute loading screen nowadays, just with how far technology has come, but yeah, a three minute loading screen and then like another huge segment to get past, usually a whole bunch of Falmer and stuff as well, which were always just, 
a very upsetting enemy because they were they were kind of like unassuming almost in how they don't look like they're super powerful enemies but if you if you kind of stuff around or you're not careful or whatever they they kill you pretty quickly like very very quickly especially once you get up to obviously higher levels and you start running into gloom lurkers and all that kind of stuff they are they're pretty strong enemies and as i said also unassuming but very very strong now i wonder i've never actually done it but i wonder what happens if i go back up to the shrine of azura after i've kind of defiled the artifact by taking it to nelica and Ooh, pardon me, instead of the priestess up there. I wonder if she's just like instantly hostile or if she has some interesting dialogue. That might be uh, that might be something worth checking out. Whether or not I check it out in this survival mode playthrough or a different playthrough, uh, it'll probably be in a different playthrough because as you can see, we are pretty much dying right now. We're getting very, very close to it. Like if we spent too much time here, we would definitely die. And if she is hostile, I dare say she would also be kind of strong. Because I'm pretty sure she is a dark elf and with the robe she's wearing, I'd say she's also a mage. And even though we've got a high resistance to magic, she'd still pretty... She'd still probably kill us pretty easily because our health would be like where it is right now. So, might be something worth investigating in a different playthrough. Let's have a look at this chest. And it's an adept lock, but we're cold. So, it's like 30% harder, I believe, off the top of my head. Are we going to get it or is it... That 30% hard is really going to come into effect, isn't it? I feel like it might. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. Dunskis. Gold. Gold ingot. Why did I take it? Oh, well. Not going to take that. We really don't need it, even though it's way lighter than everything else. Expedition Manifest. Hmm. We've managed to secure the site and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far, especially those from the College of Winterhold who seem to think the glory of exploring every ruin should be theirs alone. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Sulla, Tru Sulla Trebetius, myself, expedition leader, Umana, my constant companion and bodyguard, Valet or Vaili or whatever, a mage not associated with Winterhold took some time to find Endrast, a fellow explorer of some local renown. Yag, a great brute of a woman, hired to keep the rest of the labor in check. Jadar and Jazar, two Khajiit brothers hired as labor. Need a couple more laborers. Getting through the ice is proving difficult. We've set up shelter and, shouted and scouted the area. The small ruins on the lower plateau of the glacier don't seem connected to the main structure and we haven't managed to find a way into the tower parapet we've found here. Yag mentioned spotting a fissure in the glacial wall that may lead into the ruins so we are going to try and find a way to get down there with the gear. Looks like a storm is coming and a storm must have came because some years look like you had a bit of a tough time up here. Here we go. Oh, I can't search it and we are moving ridiculously slowly. Ridiculously, ridiculously slowly. I'm guessing that is the tower they tried to get in. And I'm almost certain I'm risking death here by doing this, which is upsetting me. But, oh, come on now. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm almost certain there's like a... There's almost... I'm pretty certain you can like flick a switch from somewhere here. Like there's a glitch or something. I'm not going to try and do it. Well, I am trying to do it just to show it. But, uh, yeah, I can't. I'm pretty sure there's a way to like look through the wall and flick that lever. And then just go straight into uh, our land. But that is not... Is that our land? At some kind of tower. I can't remember which tower it is exactly. But uh, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do this the way that I love to do it, which is the correct way, the way the developers intended. No cheats is here. And we are going to... I know that might sound a little bit hypocritical because of the thing I do with the shopkeepers, but that, that that's, like, that's like a small concession I make. Like, I mean, come on. That is just... <laughs> when you have to do, like... I, I, I don't know. I don't believe that to be that bad or that detrimental or like destroying the game or anything because sometimes because like just having to travel all around the map to sell your stuff or waiting continuously oh come on now you are numb let's come on come on come on we should warm me up warm me up warm me up please 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 surely yeah having to travel all around the map that's like okay we are warming up that is like one that is one thing i'm willing to avoid having to do because it is just crazy to me having to do that and where is Lydia hopefully if we sleep she will show up and hopefully we won't die from the cold or something hopefully it'll be a uh hopefully we will return to normal stats please 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 and yeah okay 
13 hours and we return to somewhat normal stats. I'll take it. Um, let's keep pushing on through. It looks... It, it doesn't look like anything good happened here. I'll, I'll say that at the very least. It looks, uh... It looks quite, quite bad. Looks like some of these guys need to see the dentist because this looks very bad for your teeth. Let's keep pushing on downward and see what we have to find. Anything? Ooh. I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Jizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more scoop. Shut up, shut up. Don't like me, Jizar. You hit it. You always try to steal it from me. Hmm. Looks like some potential clientele for when we picked up all that stuff back in Riften, hey? I wonder if he's to blame for everything here. Hmm, may have gone into a little bit of a psychosis, maybe, from the lack of schema. Maybe he needs it to function. Don't know, just all speculation here. But he definitely seems like he's having a bit of trouble. And the carry weight, I'm not liking the carry weight that we got right now, to be honest. Definitely not liking it. I'm probably definitely due for some inventory management, but that's also not the most riveting thing to show all the time, so I try and avoid it when I can, but also, I mean, more than likely gonna give me some trouble here, to be honest. Definitely gonna give me some trouble. Is this a shortcut, or is there a way to get in there or something? Hmm, I don't actually remember. As I said, I never... I, I barely... I believe I was talking about it in the last episode. I really don't do the... Uh, main quest line all that much so i'm not super duper familiar with everything that you can and can't do let's see how long this is not long at all good for a read i'd say if only Yumani would have left one of these dwarven machine creatures intact for me to study the fact that they almost killed those khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one we dragged some stuff in front of the pipes they came out of to stop them from coming back they are simply fascinating it is, a, it is just as Calsalmo Cal described in Dwarves V2. The appearance does, in fact, resemble that of an ar arachnid. I had thought that to be an embellishment given by, his, given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design of the apparatus is quite remarkable. It could explain the focus of the lightning that he describes. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be the main power source of the apparatus. Perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with the energies contained in the soul gem to bring heat to a small boiler too early to say conclusively that does raise the question of where they get the liquid for the boiler however huh that was strange i thought i just saw something moving beyond the bar door it looked vaguely humanoid i wonder if it could be an undiscovered automaton i'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if i can catch another glimpse of it this is all so exciting Hmm, all so exciting, hey? You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. No pun intended for the Khajiit brothers. Let's keep pushing forward. I really hope I'm not missing anything there. I don't feel like I am, but ooh, what are you? Not friendly, I would suggest. Why am I moving so slowly? Am I still cold? I don't know. Let's take this gold and let's do that as well. And we're obviously going to start running into a little bit of trouble here, so... Let's get out some destruction spells along with our... Hmm... No, we are really running out of carry out. Along with our Dramora friends here. And where is Lydia? After saying all this time how reliable she's been and how this follower was bad and that follower was bad. But, Ily but Lydia's been good because, you know, she's still with me. And Ilya did this and Uthgo did that and Fandle was like this. And now Lydia's finally done it to me. She's finally let me down, hey? My gosh, I never thought the day would come. Lydia's always been so consistent. Oh, well. Oh, well, I don't feel like it will be too big of a problem. I mean, the main problem I'm probably going to have is carry weight, to be honest. That is always the problem I have. We'll take this torch because it's always good to have a torch and they always run out too quickly for my liking. What is ultimate healing? Yes, let's have a look at this chest common soul gem oh, I don't need to take these but I like it too much I'm gonna take at least one of them gold gold and gold anything else apothecary satchel now nah, we'll leave that anything in here hmm no nothing to be seen there let's keep moving on down and another torch yes please where is it? Oh! <laughs> My goodness, I am blind. Let's uh, let's get rid of it. Let's make short work of him. Uh, empty. Don't like it. 
don't like it at all. Where's your common soul gem? Who is this brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? And this one was in touch with us. Nah, I wasn't. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't like your chances, my friend. I don't like your chances. Oh, you got some health, I'll give you that, but you probably should have been a bit more friendly. Maybe shouldn't have had so much screamer and gotten so paranoid, because... I mean, we could have worked together, and now look at you. Now look at you. You ragged old. And you just did a health potion at the last second. Probably a bit too late. Probably a bit too late. You probably underestimated my Dramora friends there in your screamer psychosis. And you don't have anything good on you. Hey? What you good for? And just... Uh, the poor brother, I'm guessing, who probably... Uh, yeah, empty screamer bottle and... Uh, Passion of Extreme Healing, we will take that. And Jazar's journal, this is Jazar. I wonder if he's got anything to say about his brother becoming a little bit, uh, a little bit dependent on the old Skooma and going a bit crazy. So, this one is at his wit's end. I signed Jadar and myself up for this expedition to try and get him clean of the Skooma. I brought a small supply to try and bring him down slowly, but the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that one, that one with fur should not shake so much from the cold but i've run out of but i've run out of the little skooma i brought and jadar is getting pretty bad he started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins the others are starting to think he may be behind valley's disappearance but i know he would never do something like that Ooh, you don't think he would hmm unfortunate that you had so much trust for your brother in who you thought he was because it seems to have let you down in a big way my friend very unfortunate come on give me that little bit of gold do i need it no do i want it yes 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 the answer is always yes uh let's have a look see nope let's oh i do not want that what is that nonsense hey let's get into the misc and let's drop that Come on. Oh, jeez, that's what's weighing us down. I've completely forgot I had all these dragon bones and dragon scales. Gosh dang it. Um, wow, we need to have a look at trying to sell that somewhere, I think. And where is it? There it is. Swallowed. Bleh, swallowed. Solid Dwemer Metal. Do we want it? No, thank you. Drop that hunk of garbage. Don't want the hammer. Search the spider. No. And Umana's journal. And there we go, another short read. It's been about a week since Valley went missing and now and now Endrast is gone too. We found blood leading over to the Bard off doorway, but Sula seems to think that they found a way through and that they are trying to cut him out of the discovery. Seems like a bit of paranoia. He keeps saying that we need to press on. We've managed to break through into another section of the ruins. An animo animon animonculori. Animonculori where the dwarves would produce their automatons. We learned the hard way that the metal creatures are still alive in there and it hasn't improved Yag's mood at all. She, she holds that the Khajiit brothers aren't involved in, with the disappearances and has been keeping a hard eye on Sula. The rations have all but run out and we are going to have to decide soon whether to brave the storm or try to push further into the ruins. I don't know if the echoes of screams I've heard in my sleep are those of our missing comrades or my own nightmares. Let's take that as well. I absolutely love, by the way, in case you can't tell because I because I force myself to read, well not force myself, but because I insist on reading all the notebooks, I absolutely love how Skyrim injects like the little bit of story through notes here and there really really neat i think and they will make quick work of us without our friends so we're going to get our friends out i feel like my character is moving really slowly like slower than he should maybe it's just me maybe it's still a cold effect because my health bar is still drained so that could be a thing and there's that one and there's that one good stuff my friends good stuff common soul jam Ugh. uh Greater Soul Jam, and we'll leave all that, and we will try and find whatever this was. There it is. Oh, it doesn't really weigh that much, but it's also junk, so we'll get rid of it. Again, I must apologize. At the start of the video, my mic was turned down. I really hope it hasn't affected the recording all too much, and now it's throwing everything out of whack. Really hope that this is still all good. Let's take the Petty Soul Jam. I believe this, I leave this part. I don't think it will be that bad. Also, by the way, uh, quicker, quicker, if you didn't know, you can jump on 
this or this. Come on, get up there. And then it will boost you up. And then you can jump on this. And then it will boost you up. And then you can jump up here. And then you can get excellent strength, ultimate healing. Two dwarven metal ingots. Uh, yeah, we'll take it because I might be doing a little something in the future. And there's a chest up here. A lot of people miss this whenever I watch playthroughs. I feel like a lot, not enough people know about this. Is it useful? No. But is it a Zarnov thing to try and find and all that? Yes. Yes, indeed. Now... We definitely have to keep going that way, I would presume. But also, if we do a little something... I've probably done this before. Because if I'm doing it now, I've definitely had the thought to do it before. If I do a little wool... And I get over here... Do I, like, cut out a whole part of the dungeon? I definitely do. I definitely, definitely do. Yeah, they're running forward. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, though. As, you know... As funny as it would be, as interesting as it would be, I might miss something. And, you know, I'm not all about that. I'm not all about missing something. So, yeah, I'm back, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, what the heck was that? Is that a trap I missed or something? What, what the heck happened there? Did you guys activate? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Thank goodness for my magic resistance. Otherwise, that would have been terrible. <laughs> Okie dokie. You smell weakness just as you die. How about that? Let's get those two out. And he's here. Stop pressing that. Let's do this. Gosh, I absolutely love this magic resistance. There he goes. Malachite all No, leave it. And let's see what you have. Nope, leave it. And you're still alive. We'll wait and we'll see what you have once my friends make quick work of ya. Hey, what you doing? And is that the same one as up there? Did I just Yeah, he's here. And he had nothing. Pa. Pa. And Master Lock, novice. That is a pleasant surprise. And unexpected, I have to say. Usually these doors are crazy hard. Okay, okay. And apprentice. And I'm guessing this is where they go a bit hectic is on these chests. Wow. How did I manage that? I'll tell you what, that took skill to manage that one. Apprentice lock and I just I just kept holding it. For some reason, I had a little bit of a brain uh, scroll of firestorm. Okay, okay, let's take it. I had a little bit of a brain glitch, and I just kept holding it, even though I saw the uh, the lock pick struggling. Adept lock. Here we go. Two or three lock picks, I reckon. Let's see. There's the sweet spot somewhere there. So there's the one, and I'm gonna guess it's about there. Oh, not a bit more. There's the two. Cool, cool. And six gold. Wowza. Not worth it. <laughs> Worth of the lock experience, though, I guess. The lock picking experience, I guess. Uh, let's keep on pushing forward. And another chest. And if you look there, you'll see that Bethesda has trapped it. You know, they think we're they think we're some silly they think we're some silly people. Let's get you over there. And let's get you down there. And I'll just do this. Hopefully. This guy, yeah, good, good, good. So usually, or sometimes, they you'll find they'll be a little bit annoying about who they target. And because, like, obviously he would have been a red dot first, even though I put that other Tremora down there, he might have just, like, conjured down here, but then ran all the way over there to start working on the other spider, which would have been... Ah, maybe that's what happened. Maybe the uh, Dwarven Spiders have a uh, delayed fire effect although i don't believe it i don't believe that that's a thing am i just completely forgetting that whole mechanic of the i don't know maybe i am um uh yeah scroll of call to arms i mean these are pretty good scrolls might as well just take them ah and there we go very nice absolutely love these dragon bones and that lydia isn't here to help us but you know who we do have that i just remembered and i almost completely forgot existed our little trusty goat Hilda. So we're going to get up these stairs. And we are going to get out our alteration. And we are going to teleport Hilda to us. Oh, Hilda. There you are, my beautiful friend. I need you to carry something. Please, oh, please tell me I have managed your inventory. So you got nothing. And indeed, you have nothing. You know what you have now? A whole bunch of dragon remnants. So give, 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 give. Oh, is that a weight off our shoulders or what? My goodness. And yeah, it was literally just the dragon stuff. Okay, Hilda, you can keep doing your own thing. I'm going to send you home. Uh, wait for me at home. Uh, let's take it 
to Golden Hills Plantation. That's where everything is pretty much right now. It's like the main place I visit the most, to be honest, at this point. Let's keep pressing forward uh, a couple rooms. Is there a little chest in the rubble here? Hmm? You hiding from Zarnov? No. And I feel like I heard some little crawling, some, some crawling action there from a spider. No, no, no. Nothing there. Nothing there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I definitely did hear a little spider crawling around if my Dramora friends are doing that. You are famished. Yep, we are walking through a Dwemer room, but we're hungry. So we got to feed Thoran, otherwise he won't function. He'll refuse. He'll quite literally throw a tantrum and die if we do not feed him. And lockpicking experience getting us up to 55. My goodness, I'll take it. Wasn't expecting that. Let's make quick work of this Dwarven Sphere and see what he was protecting in that little room of his. And he's gone. There could be no match at all. Oh, there could be no other end. A little bit of different dialogue from my Dramora friends. And there you go as well. Search this chest, iron plate armor, love it, but won't take it. Common soul gem, gold, potion of ultimate magicka. And minor deft hands, we got heaps of carry weight now and we'll take it. I'm pretty sure we got that enchantment. I don't think that's a super rare enchantment. Pretty sure it's kind of easy to get, but just in case we don't have it, I'll take it. And Oh, hello. Just gonna make quick work of you. Don't mind me. Just gonna end your existence real quick. And we'll see if you got a soul gem. Come on now. There you go. Love to see it. And anything there worth anything? Nope. Let's keep going forward. And here is where I got to before. So, as I said, you can, uh, that's where I was before. Jumped up on those little things. And then you can just wall over here and then. From there, I would say it would be pretty easy to, you know, do a few jumps and finagle your way up here. And oh my goodness, that sends you a little bit too far back in my opinion. I would be, I would be kind of annoyed. In fact, I'm going to quick save because we haven't quick saved in a while. I would be kind of annoyed if that pushed me down and I had to, you know, just run all the way back up those stairs. It would make me an upset Darnold, that is for sure. Come on now. Make very quick work of you, thanking you for your... Ah, uh, you don't have a common soul gem. I'm not thanking you for anything. Oh, and there's another one. Do you have a common soul gem for us? Maybe. Let's see. Let's finish you up with this kill cam. Hey, there we go. And common soul gem thanking you. Let's keep going forward. Forward. Keep going forward and here we are so usually the quest mark is a bit different if you're going through doors that are gonna uh have a loading screen but we're going into the aftland or alft alftand animonoculori okay just over to the left so we you know where we're going first you know where the priorities are at iron boots of hauling wowza that's pretty good Peerless alteration. I'm going to take it. Uh, hmm. Not liking the looks of all this Falma stuff, hey? Not liking the looks of it at all. What do you reckon that could be foreshadowing? What do you reckon that could mean? What do you reckon that means we're going to run into? I'm going to have an educated guess. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say we could be seeing some uh, unpleasant Falma very soon. Let's have a little crouch under here and see what is down here, eh? Hmm, somebody knows we're here, or somebody suspects we're here. Let's have a look at this chest. Adept lock, I'm going to say two or three locks, so there's the one. On this next one, or the one after, hey? How about that? Let's do it. Come on now. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Eminent conjuring. Oh, all this good stuff. I'm going to take it. That, that, and... Nah. Sneak increase to 26. I'll take it. And Endras, the leader of the expedition. Not looking very, uh, I don't know. Good, my friend. Not looking very good at all. Seems like you've had a bit of a tough time. Let's get that, that charcoal out of the way so I don't take it. I'll take your lockpick too. Thanks. And we'll search you. What have you got? You just got ragged robes. Did you uh, only come to this expedition in ragged robes? Or is that just something you unfortunately ended up in? I would say you, you definitely came down here ill-prepared if you came down in those ragged robes. Let's have a read. The eyeless creatures took us in our sleep. I don't know what happened to the Khajiit brothers. We never saw them in the cell. I managed to pick the lock 
and we made a break for it, but we got but got split up. Sully yelled something about not leaving without finding what he came here for, and Yumana chased after him. Yag and I tried to t tried for the top of the cave shaft, but one of the ramps was broken. Without a hesitation, she grabbed me by the scruff of my tunic and threw me up threw me atop the ledge and told me to run and I did I didn't even look back I just ran like a coward I could hear her fighting them and I just had to get away I didn't even notice the arrow in my shoulder till I hid here those metal creatures are still all around me and I am too terrified to even move eight divines please take me now so this is the expedition leader he's got a falmer arrow in his shoulder so I'm guessing he got shot by a falmer and not a uh, automaton so let's come out here and deal with these guys there's one little spider over here and there's a wheelie boy up there it sounds like so we'll put our friend down and hopefully they're not just both after me I can I can take care of this guy you guys can deal with that sphere eh? that seems like a fair fair, uh, fair what's the word I'm looking for I swear I can never ever think of words when I'm recording a video. In normal conversation, I can always think of words. I can never think of words when I am recording a video. That's a fair... I'm just going to say... Oh, the word is on the tip of my tongue. It is on the tip of my tongue and is the most infuriating thing when I'm in a video. I'm thinking of a phrase or I'm thinking of a word, but I just can't express it. I just can't say it. It does. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't... It just doesn't come to the forefront of my mind, and I just can't say it. Uh, let's keep pushing forward. You had nothing. Wowza. You useless little spider you were, hey? And nothing here at all. Okay. And I wonder what this is. Looks like a trap to me. We're going to go save. Pardon me. And hopefully our Dramore friends don't activate that and kill us before we get up. And they didn't. Good stuff. They didn't activate it at all. Whoa. You came out of nowhere. And there he goes. And my next Dramora friend, my next uh, Dramora friend's probably going to go very soon as well. Can we just flick this lever through? Yeah, we can. The puzzles, man. The puzzles. There was a lever here as <laughs> well. The puzzles in Skyrim. Not even a puzzle. Uh, come on now. Come on now. You're making it too easy. Let's get rid of you. And there's... Let's search you first. Uh, I wanted the soul gem, but I guess we'll take that just for now. And there's a chest back here for us. Bada bing, bada boop. Sweet. Xenothar. Nope. Anything else? Nope. And let's uh, keep uh, moving down. And it looks like this could be the ramp that Endras was talking about in his journal. Could it be? I think it is. And... Ah... So the very strong lady who threw him up was an orc. Makes sense, being a uh, bit of a warrior class. Let's unlock this door. Now I'm thinking once we go down there, there's no coming back up. So we better make sure we are ready. It's an apprentice lock, so I shouldn't have snapped that first lock pick. It just kind of happened. I'm sorry, guys. I failed you. Let's get rid of this guy so I can explore this place in peace. And look at that. There's a chest. That brings a smile to my face. Search the chest. Minor blocking. No. Common soul gem. Diamond gold. Yes, yes, yes. Nope. Oh, now I'm trapped in here with you. That didn't work out the way I wanted. I was trying to do a funny and I ended up trapping myself. Lucky we're not level 2. Otherwise, you would have killed me. Anything else? Anything at all? Not nope. All this stuff around the back and nothing more for Zarnov. That brings a frown to Zarnov's face. But there's a lockpick here. An ex expert. So... I'm going to say five lockpicks. There's a sweet spot right there. There's one lockpick. And, oh, come on now. Come on. I'm so close. you got to give it to me in three lockpicks. There we go. Bada bing, bada boop. Open that. Take that. Take that. Leave that. And, ooh. Let's search this chest. Amulet of Talos. No. Uh, the locked room. Lock picking, yes indeed. How long is this? Well, it's a skill book actually, so I'm not really interested in reading it, to be honest. If you want to read it now that I'm already flicking through it, I'll keep flicking through it. You can pause and read it. Seems like there could be a bit of a story there, a bit of an interesting story, but not for me. Not for me. Let's have a crack at this master lock. I'm going to say 10 lock picks max, and we've already found the sweet spot, maybe less. 
<laughs> yeah! Elven wall, warhammer, steel, warhammer of cowardice, creatures, and people up to level 7. No. Iron axe of torpor. Uh, no. Oh, do we have that? I believe... Mm, I'm going to take it just in case. I'm going to take it just in case, because I know there are some unique weapons with that enchantment that I usually get, and then I like go to the disenchanting table, and then that's always an option to disenchant, which would lead me to believe that the stamina draining enchantment must be somewhat rare, and I might not have it. Although I wouldn't think I wouldn't have it. I'd say I'd have it by now, but I might not. What are you doing, hey? Eh? Let's get both of these guys out. And here is Yag. The one that was meant to keep everyone in line and saved Endras before he ran away and left her for dead. The coward. Let's take that torch. I'm going to take every single torch I can. We have three torches now. This has been a good quest for torches. Usually I cannot find a torch anywhere. Where's my other Dramora friend? Hey, I thought I summoned both of them. Maybe it only lets me do one at a time. I don't know. Let's get you out of here. Come on now. Stop all that nonsense and off you go. So we won't be looting you, I guess. <laughs> and what is up here? Another chest. I love it. Leather scout armor. Hmm. Don't think I've seen this yet. Looks pretty cool. Uh, not something I can see our character wearing, but definitely very cool. Oh, no, I think I have seen this already. Yeah, I think I have seen it. Very cool nonetheless, though. Uh, that looks like a good war axe. Flawless diamond, gold, minor, and keep going. And that looks like a little trap, so we're going to activate that, and I bet it pushes us. Yep. Uh, where is Lydia? Just remembering, Lydia is still not with us. She's let us down. She has let us down big time. I'm not liking it at all. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Now, how do I get down from here safely? There's got it. There it is. There's the ramp. And there's definitely going to be some unsavory people on this ramp, I'm guessing, with all the red dots in my little compass up there. Yeah, a night prowler. Very unsavory. Very unfriendly. Very disgusting. Go and fall off that edge. Do it. There we go. Love to see it. Take the full damage. No one to our right. Yep, let's see if we can... Uh, oh, he did die. Good, 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 good. Good. Love to see it. And there's another one. Yuck. Foul. Stagger him. Do that. And do that. Gosh, I love the stagger. Nope. You're not going to one-shot us. Oh, I'm very scared he'll one-shot us. I'm going to quick save right here. And no. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. No. Don't tell me I've done it. I did it. I did the thing. I did the really, really bad thing. Oh, he missed, he missed, he missed. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And my audio has bugged out. The audio is bugged out. So I'm going to quick save here. And see if I can fix this audio. Why has this happened for a second time now? What is going on? Let's see if this does anything. No. No, I'm just getting some very, very bad sounds in my ears that aren't, and somehow I quick saved over another death loop. Come on now. Skyrim, why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve such a thing? Stop it. I'm telling you to stop, so you will listen to me. Okay, no, this is going to be... This is going to be a little bit of a chore, but I'm going to have to run back up here. I'm going to have to do a hard save. And I'm going to have to fix this problem. I will be back and hopefully it will be fixed. And we are back. That was actually a surprisingly quick and easy fix that uh, in the past has actually required me to do a little bit of work such as verifying game files and all that kind of good stuff which is not good which would have taken a while but all it required was for me to exit the game and come back into the game and I completely forgot that guy was there waiting to one shot so hopefully I can enjoy you there I definitely didn't think I could because it's a ramp and for some reason Skyrim doesn't like ramps and it makes it annoying to try and cast and conjure things on ramps hopefully if we can find a bit of solid ground ie up the top here we can conjure you there we go and let's get your friend out as well and now go on start running go down down the ramp you go go on a bit quicker Bit quicker, bit quicker, bit quicker, bit quicker, bit quicker. Okay, take your time. Whatever, 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 whatever. Please don't. Uh, for, oh no, stagger, 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 stagger. Actually, we could kill him. Let's kill him. Kill this thing. Destroyed. 
Oh, you are annoying. So annoying. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully there's not another Night Prowler ready to get us in a death loop. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe... We are so lucky. Obviously, discounting the whole audio glitch that could have been terrible for us. We are so lucky because we... I quick saved myself in what could have very well... First was a bad death loop. And then it could have been a second death loop with an audio. But, like, we could have just been in a very sore, sore spot. And I could have been a very, very upset... Upset, upset Zarnov, to be honest. I could have been very upset with the events that could have played out. But we are very lucky we got through that relatively unscathed. Another thing that's just popped into my head that I want to address now that we are getting to a somewhat uh, lengthy part of the video now. Oh, you are so annoying. I hate you guys. Um, I do realize that my videos, or at least my last few videos, have been a bit shorter than others. This one's probably going to be a longer one, obviously, because we are working our way through this dungeon. I'm only doing that as, like, not necessarily an experiment. And also, as I've said as well, because I record so far in advance, it's hard to get instant feedback on things. But it just seems, from what I can tell at least right now, that there are a lot of... Um, even though I have, obviously, people watching my videos and people enjoying the videos and stuff, I feel like there's... When I'm, when I'm going through my... Um, YouTube Creator Studio, and I can see the uh, like view time and stuff. I'm thinking, even though like people might enjoy the much longer videos, as I know I do, for um, when I, whenever I watch playthroughs. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Whenever I watch playthroughs, it's probably just not a thing that most people can uh, sit down and set aside that much time for, because obviously most of my videos have been what, some around like an hour and 45 minutes, hour or two hours, I think some of them have been. Nordic Barnacle, definitely take that. And as much as I love making videos that long and as much as I love watching videos that are that long, it's also a matter of, I know there's a lot of people that don't have or can't afford to have that kind of time to sit down and just watch a really long video and so they have to come back to it a few times and Sometimes they won't even do that if they just can't watch a video. They just won't bother which obviously, you know, isn't good I want to have as many people. I want to have my stuff, you know, reach as many people as possible create a community That's like the ultimate goal here and To do that I might have to cater to some sh to people who don't have that time Which isn't a bad thing because there'll still be longer videos like this one will be but it's just a matter of you know trying to uh, Cater to people and give people what's what's that hitting sound is that? Is that the arrows glitching out and creating a sword swinging or hitting noise? I think that's what it is. That's really weird. Yeah, so um, I might be creating some shorter videos here and there as well to kind of help with uh, some of the people that can't set aside large amounts of time. Again, it's, it'll be an experimental thing. We'll have to see how things go and we'll have to wait until obviously people start viewing this video once it's published, but... Yeah, that's just a, it's just a recognition thing, you know, I'm just putting it out there that I am obviously aware that I've put out some shorter videos and I know some people might not be the biggest fan of that, but also I've got to try and cater to people that don't have all the time in the world to sit down and watch a video. And that's not to say that this will be like the definite thing from now on, like all videos will be shorter, all videos will be longer, or just be like seeing how we go. And like, after I have a big enough, um... A big enough what would you call it a uh, sample size or enough enough data to kind of see how things are going Ooh, an expert lock enough data to see how things are going I'll probably make a more definitive decision on how long or short videos will be more consistently in the future and if we do go to like a shorter video platform or a, a shorter video type of deal and why did that open but not open um, Oh, more than likely, it'll more than likely just be a thing of, okay, I do shorter videos now, but now I upload two of them a day. Like, for certain, two of them a day, instead of, like, one really long one, it'll just be two, like, one split in half. So, effectively, I'll be doing the same things, and you guys will be seeing the same things in a day. It'll just be split over two videos instead of one longer video, because that looks more digestible to the average person. Uh, we're going to do that. Hopefully, he doesn't get me. Oh, I was really worried he was going to get a swing off on me then. Let's do this and do this. There we go. Absolutely love just popping them out. They're so handy. 
And let's start going to work on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and aggro on us. Jeez, these are some... This is what I mean when I say the Falmer are so strong. Look at them. Look, oh, jeez. I don't like the look of that at all. I really wish we had Lydia here because we need every single person we can get right now. See, he just died. Now i got to wait for Magicka to regen so I can get another one out. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a scroll because I haven't used any scrolls. Let's go Firestorm because I just remembered we have this. And if I don't use it, I'm just going to sell it. But let's... let's Go ham. See if we can do some stuff to these guys. Skadoosh. Hopefully that doesn't just kill my Dramora Lord and do nothing else. That would be that would be terrible. Let's get another one out because he's about to go down. Come on now. Get more Magicka. I would like to get two fresh ones out because I'm pretty sure he's definitely about to go down. Okay, two fresh ones are out. Now we can go and start hitting them from the back. Nothing intended with that statement. It's just in the, you know, the heat of the moment kind of statement. Please don't take it in any kind of mind in the gut away. <laughs> Come on now. God, this guy's a tough cookie. There we go. Felma Warmonger down. Malign lingering, lingering poison causes two points of poison damage for 20 seconds. Ooh, that sounds terrible. And we have a full set of Falmer heavy armor here. We're not going to take it, though, because it doesn't really interest us too much. Although it is cool. I believe the Falmer heavy armor and the hardened armor and all that came in the Dawn Guard DLC. I remember seeing it for the first time and thinking, wow, this is so cool, but also, wow, this is annoying because now they have armor. <laughs> and I just perceive that as, like, now, obviously, they are just so much stronger. Uh, where does this go? Does this go to Skyrim? It probably does. Affluent, Alftand, Glacial Ruins, hey? And where's our quest mar marker pointing us? To the Alftand Cathedral. I might, I might, uh, open that up just to see where it goes real quick after I explore this area and make sure I've got everything that I want. It doesn't look like there's much stuff I want, <laughs> to be honest. Ah, this is where they escaped from, I believe. Yeah, here's Veili. So she doesn't have anything important on her because I think the Falmer obviously took it all. But yeah, I would say this is the cells that they were being kept in. Not very hospitable, not very nice, I would say. But you'll see, ooh, blue mage robes. Uh, you'll see later on what they were probably intending on doing to this little expedition group before they escaped. Once we get to Blackreach, open door, where does this go? What does it look like out there? Okay. Looks like a bit of a, looks like a, another little bit of a journey. Let's run back here like I wanted to and quickly see where this heads off to. And hey, you never know, maybe Lydia will show up. Please show up, Lydia. Please, hey, please, Lydia, please show up. So yeah, quest mark. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, yeah, so it is a shortcut. There we go. Yeah, thought so. Okay, now. Hmm. So yeah, I'd say that's definitely because you probably have to come back here for something else. And then that's just a, a shorter way instead of going through all that stuff we just did. Which gives me some hope because if they would put the shortcut leading to here, it must mean we're somewhat close to our intended objective. Which gives me a lot of hope. Which means, because as I said, you know, I, I never... I don't usually go through the main quest line all too much, so I can't remember exactly how long we have to go. Let's see if we can spawn a Dramora down there. Aww, unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Come on, spawn there, spawn there, spawn there. Good, good, good. And let's run. Do the coward play. Very good. Ah, uh, don't like you. Go away, go away, go away. I definitely don't like that Frostbite Spider. They always kill us so dang quickly for some reason. Come on now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Close that. Bye-bye. He's just going to open it. No, you're just going to walk through it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. Stagger him. And we'll run around this corner, do the coward play, and get some potions going. Because we have tons of them, so why not use them, right? Uh, minor Magicka, why not use it? Get rid of the weight. Uh, vigorous Magicka, yep, use it. Get rid of the weight. So obviously you want to work from like your lowest uh, worth or like restores the lowest and then up. Now that we've got all that, Let's get him around that corner and boom, and boom, and dead. Now hopefully that spider went back down to the Dramoras. Yes, take that. Okie dokie. Hopefully he's not around here ready to one-shot me. Let's do a quick save. 
learning from uh, last... Oi, you guys are back. I love to see that, which means everything down there is dead. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I'm a very... Did I just miss a common soul gem? I did. I am very, very happy to see it. Zanov is happy. Let's go gold, and let's skip over you, and let's... You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to stop what you're doing there. You're. Uh, you're. You're. I'm not gonna even go there with those jokes. <laughs> you're just in a very suggestive position, and it's. Uh, it's not. Not good. It's not friendly for YouTube. YouTube is gonna demonetize the video if you keep doing stuff like that, Skyrim. You keep pulling stuff like that. YouTube will be very unpleased. No chests. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going. And I. You're the one that fell down way earlier, aren't you? You are indeed. And all you had was some gold. Pathetic. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. And what are you? You're definitely a trap, aren't you? We're going to quick save here. We're going to activate that trap. Let it do its thing so it can never hurt anyone ever again. Check over here for any chests in the rubble because it's a pretty common thing in Dwemer Ruins. There's always tons of chests in the rubble. Not here, though. Not here. And the Alftand Cathedral. Let's keep pushing forward. Hopefully, this is the last room. This is what I'm talking about, where you just keep going through rooms, and you're like, ah, is this the last one? Nope. Okay, is this the last one? Nope. Okay, maybe this one. Nope. <laughs> it's not, as I said, it's not a bad thing. I, I, I do love how Skyrim is. Surely we can get back here. We can. I do love how Skyrim is. I do love its dungeon design. It's just the Dwemer ones, they are really, really long. And as good as it is, it's like the same thing. It's a double-edged sword, you know? It's good because it's a lot of content, keeps you entertained for a lot of time. But also it can be like, oh, here we go again. Oh, here we go again. Oh, let's do this again. You know what I mean? But, I mean, maybe it's just me. Let's, uh... I wonder what these traps do. I did quick save. Let's activate it. Oh, yeah, boy. Come on now. Come on now. Why? Why are you so temperamental when it comes to conjuring these things? There we go. And boom. And boom. And boom. And yeah. Get smashed. Now we're going to quickly run through here so my Dramora's... Oh, I did it myself. Oh. Woo. Let's just do this. Hey. Let's just do this a couple times. I was going to say, let's run through there. Because I thought I could squeeze right there, but I couldn't. I was like, hey, let's run through here before my Dramora set it off. Because they all set it off. And they didn't. It was me. I feel really, really silly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. This is not what you are. Uh... Well, maybe it's exactly what you came to watch. You probably came to watch me fail. You probably get a few laughs out of my misery. And that's okay. I understand. I understand other people's misery can be funny. Okay, let's check this chest, because I love my chests. And there's just a little bit of gold. But you know, whether it's 8 gold, whether it's 2 gold, I'm always going to check those chests. And I think you guys know that by now. Oh, come on. Stop with that. Stop with the bubbles around my head when I don't spawn something. Just spawn it, please. That lever is there to open up the gate thing there, I would say. Blocking absorbs 8% more damage for 60 seconds. No, thanks. Uh, I can probably do without that one. I don't see myself using it, I'll be honest. You, what are you doing? Let's make real quick work of you, you weak little low-level thing. Pah, fire bolts, sure, let's take it. We got the carry weight. I'm going to be not saying that real soon because I saw it at 298, and I think that means we've got like 40 more carry weight roundabout, and this is where we came from. What am I doing? I'm doing the Zarnov. I'm doing the Zarnov. That's what I am doing. Oh, yuck. I hate those things. I didn't even realize they were here. Ugh. Not only do I just hate them in general because I hate creepy crawlies like big grasshoppers and cockroaches, I just hate that enemy type. I just hate dealing with that enemy type in general because, you know, they are really strong insects. Like, they are really, really strong and they do a lot of damage and it's just annoying when you see them crawling after you and then they do that little lunge attack and you just know you're dead. There's nothing, you you can't really dodge it. You just, you're just dead. Wow, it's a novice lock did that to me. I guess that lockpick was worn out from the master or the expert before it or whatever, but still, I can't believe that happened. Why is that happening? Why is it opening and then not opening? Oh, Skyrim, please don't tell me I've broken you. Please don't tell me that Thoran Veralt's save is broken. I really, really want to keep this as a pure vanilla playthrough. 
please tell me you're not broken. Please don't tell me I have to start the next playthrough right now because a Thorin Veralt is just broken. Please, oh, please, oh, please tell me that is not the case. I already checked you, didn't I? Yes, I did indeed. Let's flick the lever cronk and start heading down here. And from memory, does that go off? I don't think it does. I hope it doesn't. It doesn't. Otherwise, I would have been very dead right there. Search chest. Imperial. Blah, imperial. Imperial bow of sparks. Now nah, we'll give it a miss. We'll take the one gold, though, because that's what Zarnov does. He's got 100,000 gold septums, but he'll take the one out of the chest because he feels it's necessary. Dwarven Centurion right there. Let's search his friend over here first before we uh, deal with that because we love to ignore our real-life problems and just get the fuzzy wuzzies from collecting grand soul gems before we have to deal with things like this. And out the destruction comes. Boom. Oh, I don't like the level on I don't like the level of health on you. Let's get out two freshies. And let's start hitting him from behind. Hopefully not hurting our Dramoras too much. And he's going down pretty quickly, actually. Oh, don't you dare give me a little steaming. There we go. Dunskies. Good stuff, guys. You made quick work of him. Take his arrows. Take his amethyst. Take the... These aren't actually that good. I just love them because they spin around. So I always take them. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. It's just how I am. I always take them. They just spin around in there and it's just something satisfying about seeing that thing float and spin around in there. I just love it. I love it too much. I always take it. I know it's not worth that much comparatively to a lot of other things that I usually just skip over taking like jewelry. But I just can't help myself. There's just something satisfying about it, as I said. Let's go. Oh, you are starving. You're weakened from hunger. Because that is exactly what we would care about in here, isn't it, Thoran? We've just gone through however many Falmo, however many Dwarven Automatons. But, oh, you know, my tummy's rumbling. I can't perform for you much longer while my tummy's rumbling. Jeez, how did it get that low? I didn't even realize that we were going... <laughs> I didn't even realize that it got that low. Uh, let's go... Hmm. <laughs> Let, uh, remember, I said the heaviest things, and that is not heavy. That is not heavy. I thought that was four, but I was reading the value, so its weight is one. Let's make sure we are eating the heaviest stuff right here. Bang, bang, bang. Venison chop. Good, good, good. You feel better now, satisfied, but are we well fed? Come on now. And it didn't give me the update. We're not well fed. You know what that means. We're going again. We're going again. Stuff that down, you hole. There we go. You are well fed. Now, that's not the way. That's the way in there somewhere. And what are you doing? You seem like a little hidden thing that I wasn't supposed to see before I go in there. So it's a surprise when you walk out from behind the pillars. Oh, they're from the exhibition, I would say. I wonder who they are. Sulla, let's just Umana and Sulla. Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. So they're fighting each other and they're fighting us and they're just not good people in general. So, again, if there was a way to keep them alive, I would because they're uniquely named characters and I'd love to see what dialogue they have, you know, whether or not they had something about, you know, coming through this ruin or the other people they were with or something. I would absolutely love it. But, unfortunately, there's no other dialogue and we have to kill them. See, I would give you mercy and I'll give you mercy for now because you asked for it. Uh, does 15 points of stamina damage. Another stamina weapon. Mm, yeah, okay. Why not? We got the carry weight, and I think we're towards the end. Oh, actually, no. I don't think we're towards the end at all. That's a huge lie. I think we got something huge coming up. Now, you ask for mercy, and there you go. That is why I never give anyone any mercy, because they go, they go and do that. I absolutely love how that just absolutely destroyed her and flinged her back. Taj of the Blooded. When bashing does three points of bleeding damage for five seconds. Yes, let's take it. Pretty sure that's unique. It is definitely unique. I don't know why I'm saying I'm pretty sure it is unique. Let's go for a Master Lock. Oh, I wanted the experience for that. We've got over 99 lock picks, so we can do it now. Uh, let's leave that for now. Let's do this. Because we might be discovering a location up above. Or we might be, yeah, we might be able to open up a tower, which is always good. It's always good to open these towers when you can. Uh, for obvious reasons, you can just make your way back to places really, really quickly. And uh, yeah, just, as I said, obvious reasons. Not worth it, again, on the Xbox. Re oh, I cannot believe I almost missed you, little chesty. Obviously not worth it on the uh, Xbox 360, because that would be like, you know, 10 minutes of wait time just to open up a, uh, open up a door, and you'd be like, nah. 
No, it's it's probably would be helpful, but I refuse. Increases frost resistance by 30%. We already have that. <laughs> I keep like stumbling over my words while I'm doing this, you know. Increases frost resistance. Activate dwarven mechanism with the attunement sphere. And there we go. Again, Skyrim's animations looking really, really cool when they do happen. And is this going to lead to... Indeed it is. Oh, this place. Oh, this place. Absolutely beautiful and huge, might I add. Huge. Like, so much to do in this place. It is insane. So much to do in this place. There is stuff everywhere, including... Where are you? You're down there somewhere. I'm going to, before we even see it, I'm going to just say disgusting bugs everywhere. I hate them. And these fellas too. <gasps> Those fellas too, as you can see. And again, we are very, very weak. So we're going to have to finish it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below, any recommendations or just... Stop by to say g'day because I promise I'll respond to everyone. Any interaction with the channel, I absolutely love. But regardless of whether or not you do any of those things, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.